Hello guys, in this video we'll learn to bundle and deploy our Dioxys application using Rust. As part of this video, we'll bundle for desktop for different operating systems. For instance, we'll bundle DMG for macOS, DEB for Linux and an MSI or .exe for Windows. Similarly, we'll bundle for mobile our APKs for iOS and Android and then we'll also bundle for web. Finally, we'll serve our web application with GitHub pages. So basically, we'll deploy our application with GitHub pages. So there's lots to cover in this video. Make sure you hang tight and watch till the end. Now, as we start, there is a link to my Discord in description. We are building up a community of like-minded people where we do tons of discussions. So make sure to join it. So first of all, move to your project explorer. Now here, as you guys can see, I have already added a project. You guys can use any sample project that you have already with your Dioxys application. I'll just use a very basic project that I just built. Since the focus of this video is around bundling and deploying your Dioxys application. So I just added this very basic application and we are using our CSS here and we have a home component where we have a H2 that says Dioxys bundle and deployment app. And then we have our uh, hello from deployed site. And in our main CSS, we have pretty uh, basic CSS for styling. So the application that we are using in this video is pretty straightforward. First of all, we'll go ahead and run this for desktop and then we'll bundle just to show you guys how our application looks like. So in the terminal, we'll just do dx serve and platform as desktop. Let's just wait for a couple of seconds. So I have already covered in a detailed videos like how to add a new project and how to get going with Dioxys building for uh, web, desktop, mobile. So I'll ping that uh, video. It should be popping somewhere on right top. Make sure to click it, watch it before bundling and deploying your application. So there you go, the first look of our Dioxys bundle and deployment app. As I just mentioned, pretty straightforward, pretty basic component, just a CSS to, you know, make it center and uh, a bit aligned. That's pretty much all that our application is about. So we'll bundle this application and then we'll create a, a Mac OS installer. Similarly, we'll do for Windows and Linux. I'll just uh, get the commands and then we'll go ahead for mobile and desktop. So let's get back to our ID. So back to our ID and let's have a new terminal tab to bundle our application for desktop Mac OS. Since I'm on a Mac machine, so I'll just bundle for Mac and you can just follow the same uh, commands, the same instructions for Windows and Linux, which we'll see in a minute. So all we have to do is DX bundle and platform as desktop and then package types so package types and mac os but since i'm building for mac similarly you can do for windows or also uh, for linux and additionally let's say i want to build for mac os the default one which is application and i also want to build the specific which is dmg for mac os then i specify and press enter and as you guys can see it's building and then compiling so let's wait and there you go as you guys can see we have app produced two outputs and we have for macOS and DMG. So we go to our explorer and inside we have our target. Inside target we have DX bundle and bundle. And there you go. We have DMG and macOS. So let's reveal this in Finder. And there we check our uh, dot application as well as the DMG. So head to um, bundle in our Finder and here. As you can see, we have DMG and macOS. Inside macOS, we have our application, which we can also use to release our application. Also, we have DMG. And we could also click this to install uh, this application that we just built 
in our Mac. Similarly, you get exe and deb for Windows and Linux respectively, and you can just press it to install. So let's just press this. And there you go. We have our uh, DMG where we can just drag our Dioxys inside our applications to install this application. Pretty straightforward. Now let's get back to our ID and try to add a custom icon for our application and then build our bundle the application. So back to our VS code. And if you just want to scrap what you just built, like uh, everything from the target, then you can just do DX clean and that would just simply remove the target folder as you can see it's gone so it just removes and scraps everything that we just built now just move to dioxys toml file and here at the end just add a bundle and inside our bundle we can specify the icon so here i'll be using icon uh, from our assets so icon as assets slash so inside our assets and we can place any icon that we want so let's say i would be placing a, a app icon dot png and then you can just simply drag and drop your uh, icon in the assets so as you can see i just drag and drop my icon which is from pokemon so we'll just use this as an icon for our application you can specify a more personalized customized icon that you want and you can just add icon here and reopen your terminal and you can just simply rebuild your application as well as your dmg if you want if you don't want both then you can just remove this and just go for dmg And there you go we have one output this time which is a dmg because this time we just built dmg and similarly you can just do for linux and windows as i keep on mentioning just on your os go ahead and simply build it and go to the explorer in the target dx bundle bundle this time in the dmg and we have our icon with the uh with our dmg but let's reveal in finder and we check in our installer and install so inside our bundle this time we have dmg and macOS. macOS should be empty this just dioxys create uh for no reason but we just built for dmg and as you can see our icon is also there now let's open our dmg and now this time if you see our dioxys app comes with our pokemon icon that we just uh, provide for our bundle and now if we drag this to our application it would just simply install and we can just click that to uh, run our desktop application so this is how simple it is to add your icons and build your application you can play around more around bundling so this is for desktop now let's check for mobile application so back to our id and let's do a dx clean and now we can just clear this and go ahead and bundle for android or ios so i'll just bundle for ios exactly same for android so we can just do dx bundle dash dash platform as ios and we just press enter And there you go. As you can see, there is a warning saying signed iOS bundles are not yet supported. But yeah, we have our bundle. So we go to our target again and DX, uh, Dioxys release iOS. And inside our iOS, as you can see, we have our Dioxys app. And we can just use that to basically release through our store, our Apple store, our iOS store, our same we go for android as well pretty straightforward again and now we covered for desktop we covered for mobile now let's move to web where we'll also then deploy our uh, bundle using github pages so let's go ahead with it now let's bundle for web so we, we can just run this command dx bundle platform as web 
so first of all let's bundle it as it is but stick around there is a trick so let's bundle it okay as you can see the bundling is succeed and we have our bundle in target tx bundle release web so let's go there target dx and release uh, actually inside there so we have bundle release web and public now inside public we have our assets we have our uh, web assembly and then we have our index html which is the kind of entry point so let's see so as you can see all the scripts that we have will be served from slash WebAssembly bundle js now wherever you will deploy it will just directly look for the script on slash WebAssembly since we'll be hosting on github pages so if you just go ahead and deploy on your github pages as it is the application would give you a 404 not found that's simply because it would start looking for your pages something like this so it will say uh, https and your your github uh, dot io and slash webassembly but that's not the case right because your this stuff would be inside a repository so you want slash repo slash then this path correct for that reason and to get not uh, run into that 404 what we have to do is bundle in a different way where we have to provide the base path so for that reason go back to your terminal and for once let's do dx clean to clean our current uh, build that we have and once that's cleaned as you can see target is gone and now what we can do simply is go to dioxys normal file and here we can scroll all the way and here what we can do is add the base path so what we can do is base path and this would be your repo name so let's say if your repo name is something like uh, dummy then it would be dummy but let's say i would name this uh, my repo as something like dioxys demo uh, deploy so i would name this my my repo as this then it would be here but if you have your repo and then some base path as well then keep specifying here so let's say something like repo then public or repo then src and then you have then just specify it here but for me i'll just stick with dioxys uh, demo deploy and then we can just go ahead and run the platform web uh, bundle command again and there you go we have our bundle so let's go back to the target inside dx as you can see in the public we have index html and this time inside index html if we see our paths it has automatically dioxys deploy so now when we serve our application it would go to our github pages like https and whatever your username so username and then io slash and then this path and it would serve our scripts and js files without any issues and we will not get any 404 which we'll see in a minute so let's go ahead to our github and add a repository and then we can just push our public folder there so let's copy our name which is this one now let's head over to our github now to deploy your dioxys web application with github pages just head to your favorite browser and sign in to your github and here just press new to add a new repo and the repo name remember the repo name should be the same as the base path in your dioxys toml file and dioxys web app uh, deploy demo and we want to keep public and add a readme which is again optional create repo now once you have your repository ready you can just clone this repo and push your public folder or you can just press upload files 
and simply drag and drop the directory which we'll do as part of this video so just head to your public directory in your target and from there just drag and drop everything that is under assets and basically the assets directory index html and your w, uh, webassembly or webassem directory as you can see so just drag and drop everything that's there as you can see we have our css file and we have our header and we have our everything that we need so this would also include your all the styling for your uh, pages your static website like all the pages all the css svg and all the stuff that you have for your website this would just go ahead and bring everything here and then we can directly come in from here uh, at public and we can just commit these changes so as you can see we have our uh, dioxys demo deploy as our repo and inside our repo we have our assets we have our sm and we have our readme which is by default we edit and then the index html which if we open as you guys can see this has slash our repo dioxys demo deploy and then everything that is required to you know uh, run or trigger so let's get back now in your repository search for settings and press the settings button and here just scroll down you will find pages on the left hand side navigation bar so just press pages and if there is none selected just press it and select your repository man and i want to select from root so select root and press save that is literally all that you need to do to manually go ahead and deploy your uh, application using github pages now just hold for a bit and once you refresh you can see after some time you get your site is live it the url and last deployed by now so it gives you all the information and the link and visit site button and you have unpublished site as well to unpublish your site and any changes that you do to your code it would just automatically go ahead and deploy but you can check the last deploy status here as you can see last deployed one minute ago now let's visit site and there as you guys can see we have our dioxys bundle and deployment hello from hello from deployed site and this is served on semicolon github io as you guys can see and let's inspect the pages and let's see the network tab now as you can see it has literally fetched everything that's required there is literally our main css and there is literally our all the js scripts required to render your application and that's pretty much all that you need to go ahead and deploy your application pretty straightforward so let's get back to our id so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand and learn something new and by the end of this video if you have followed since the start to the end you could easily bundle your desktop mobile and web irrespective of os and what is your desired type that you want to build for provided support by dioxys you can easily go ahead and build and deploy your web application as well with github pages in the future videos we'll just deploy our web application to more providers like azure aws and gcp and we'll work around different other bundling techniques as well so to cover all that make sure you like and subscribe to my channel i'll catch you guys in the next video until then bye bye